Can you guess the device that you are seeing now? The huge device filled a room is nothing but a computer. Try guessing this. The wooden frame with coil is nothing but the telephone. And the big box with small screen on it is nothing but a television. How all these devices are transformed into a slim and smart devices that we are using now. Behind the evolution of all the electronic items, there lies an important invention called a semiconductor. In this video, we are going to learn what a semiconductor means. What are its types? And how it differs from conductor and insulator? Welcome to Mr. Smart. Serving knowledge to make you smart. All the materials in the universe is made up of tiny constituents called atoms. These tiny things actually define the property of that material. An atom contains nucleus in its center, consisting of protons and neutrons, and have electrons revolving around it in an orbit. The orbit in which the electrons are revolving are called shells or energy levels. Each energy levels are filed with electrons with respect to the energy packs called orbitals. S, P, D and F are the commonly known orbitals, defined for the study of atoms and named according to their shapes. An S orbital is spherical in shape and has one pair of electrons or two number of electrons in it. A P orbital is dumbbell shaped and has three pairs or six number of electrons in it. A D orbital resembles double dumbbell shape and has five pairs or ten electrons in it. And a F orbital is complex in shape and has seven pairs or fourteen electrons in it. Each shell have one or more orbitals according to their level and have maximum number of electrons filled in it. The first energy level has only S orbital and filled with maximum of one pair or two electron in it. Second energy level consists of S and P orbitals and filled with maximum of four pairs or eight electrons in it. Third energy level consists of S, P and D orbitals and filled with maximum of nine pairs or eighteen electrons in it. And the higher energy level consists of S, P, D and F orbitals and filled with maximum of 16 pairs or 32 electrons in it. What if the shells or orbitals are not completely filled with electrons? These shells forms the valence band of the atom and the electrons filled in the band are called valence electrons. There is a band next to the valence band, called a conduction band. When external energy is given to the electron in valence band, it get escaped from valence band and reaches conduction band, turning out as a free electron. These free electrons are responsible for the electrical conductivity. In some materials such as metals, the valence band and conduction band are closer and the energy gap separating them is very small. In these type of materials, even when a small amount of external energy is given, the valence electron can easily jump into the conduction band and capable of conducting electricity. These type of materials are called as conductors. In some materials, the valence band and conduction band are far away and the energy gap separating them is very high. In these type of materials, the valence electron will never excite to the conduction band even high external force is given. So, these type of materials have no free electrons to conduct electricity. And these materials are called as insulators. In some special type of materials, the valence band and conduction band are not too closer or not far away. And the energy gap separating them is also not huge as insulators. These types of materials lies in between conductor and insulator in terms of conductivity. In their pure state, they remains insulator at some environmental condition and act as a conductor at other condition. These types of special materials are called as a semiconductors. Silicon, the most abundant element on Earth, is an perfect example of a semiconductor. A silicon atom has four electrons in its outermost shell. In a pure silicon molecule, these four electrons forms a bond with neighboring atom and all the electrons will be paired. The structure of a pure semiconductor looks like this. 
at room temperature when external energy is given to the valence electron. They never excite to the conduction band and remains as an insulator. When the temperature is increased, these materials starts conducting electricity. But the conductivity will not be similar as of conductors. These type of pure semiconductors are called as intrinsic semiconductors. But what if we want to make them conducting at room temperature? What we need to do to improve the conductivity of these materials? Then conductivity of a pure or intrinsic semiconductor is improved by the process called doping. Doping is the process of adding impurities to the pure or intrinsic semiconductor. And the semiconductor formed by adding impurities are called as extrinsic semiconductors. When a pentavalent impurity such as phosphorus having five valence electrons is added to a pure semiconductor such as silicon, four of its electron bond with silicon atom and one electron remains as excess electron. With this excess free electron they can easily conduct electricity. These type of extrinsic semiconductor which has more negative charge carriers are called n-type extrinsic semiconductors. When a trivalent impurity such as boron having three valence electrons is added to a pure semiconductor such as silicon, three electrons of silicon atom bonds with three electron of boron and one electron remains as unpaired, having a vacant hole that attracts external electrons to fill in. These type of extrinsic semiconductor which has more holes as a charge carriers are called p-type extrinsic semiconductors. Hope you have learned about semiconductor and its types in detail. Like, subscribe and press bell button to get more content instantly. Thanks for watching.